All right, we're back in Quern with a little bit less enthusiasm this time around for possibly the finale here. It just couldn't quite clutch it out for me. It was the game was definitely looking up since coming underground. I just personally feel like this one is a little too ridiculous without any other other hints to guide you towards like the collection of letters you've amassed so far. I feel like it's a little bit too tenuous of a connection that you're supposed to draw from just these three slides, but now I think we know how to solve them anyway. It's just, it's gonna be a little tedious, so let's just start, I guess, and we have it in the notebook. So I'll just, oh god, terrible images. Oh, that's, that's annoying and gross. So yeah, like, I guess we just write out each one, one by one, so... The twelfth note, the third letter in the Latin, and the third character is S. So then we just write an S here. This is so awkward all the time. No, I, I want to... Oh my god, this is such an awkward system, for fuck's sake! I want to, like, go to the next line! You can't do that? Alright, fair enough. I guess I'll have to write it in one word. Okay, letter five, three, and six. A. Does that save? Yeah. Ten two two. You know, this is just a little, a little too finicky for me. Ten two two. So E. Wait, that that does not save. Yeah, because I I didn't click out again. Yep. Definitely not the most well refined notebook system in any game. Twenty three and six. E? No, C. Uh, seven, three, two. You? Fifteen, five, three. I feel like this is like, it's trying to emulate one of those puzzles in like, Riven or whatever, where it's like, something that you've seen the entire game and finally at the very end it like, all falls into place and it's like, oh my god, all along this was a puzzle, but I just don't feel like this cuts it for me, this doesn't quite do it. It just, like, didn't really come across as anything that you should care about, unlike the stuff in Riven, where you see you know that this is definitely something that you're going to have to use eventually, but this just seemed like random nonsense, honestly. Like, why would you assume that his random Latin sentences are, like, important in that sense? I don't know. 1553. L thirteen one nine You, isn't it? Yeah. Just wanna make sure. Probably M at the end. Nineteen two two. Yeah. Oops. Cyculum, whatever that means. Have we seen that word anywhere here?
Nope, we have not, so I don't know what that means exactly. So that's what we need, I guess. Or like the order. Huh? Do we have to like make these, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. And there's like eight of them here. Okay, so that's why we're making like... There's eight steps. So we first make this one. Which is a T with a little... Like this thing. And then just a line through it. But... Is it just these two then? Yeah. So that... And that's correct. That's the first one. Okay. Number two is most of a box. This, these two, right? Yeah. Number two. I like how it it tilts your head up, so you're like, "Hey, look at this! It's doing it." But then it doesn't do that for the future ones because now you know. I think that's a nice little touch. Okay, triangle at the bottom, X and straight up. Probably this one. And... This, right? I'm assuming all of them are just two different symbols together or something. And then... Oh boy, how do we do this one? Or do we do that? Two parallel diagonal lines, and then like up left, up left, up left, up and left. Like this one, and then... No, not that. At least you can like, change things. No, that's what I just did. How do we get the middle line? Middle line has to be one of these two, right? Oh, it's that. No? Is that wrong? What did I do wrong there? Oh, I'm missing, like, one single thing. Okay, so maybe we can use three here. We need, like, this as well. Okay. At least it didn't reset the whole thing! That's also a nice little feature. They could have just been like, you did it wrong, and then went back to the start. I would not have really, like, super blamed it for that, but I'm glad it didn't do that. So that's a nice... mercy. Okay, so now it's mostly the same as this one, but not quite. We have the same... Oh yeah, because they're both you, I guess. So, like, a diagonal hourglass, and then these two lines. That's it, right? Yeah. And then kind of the opposite of this previous one, sort of. What else was it? Yeah, we don't want the line down here, so that's wrong, so it can't be this one. Wait, that- no, that was the previous one, right? Yeah, that's the previous one. Oh boy, uh... Just a line straight down and, like, an umbrella roof. So we need this one, or this one. But then there was something else, right? Diagonal, horizontal, diagonal, and straight down. Okay, yeah, that's that's correct. And now it's this one again. What was it? What did I just do? This? No. 
Hourglass with the two things. Uh, oh god, what the hell did I do? I, I did this one, I was like, I should remember which two I did to use to make this, and now I, I don't remember anymore. So it's just that, yep. Jesus Christ, man. And then these two lines. So either one of these three and then one of these these three. And left left, right down and the diagonals. So it seems like this one is a good bet. That right? Holy hell. Hi. So, he led you into his library. How how did you get I here? I have to admit it is truly beautiful. Sadly, it is as fake as he is. Maythorn, the archaeologist. Is that his name? The friend, the enemy, the savior, the wicked. It's all the same to me. It's all just the facade of a broken man whose hunger for proving himself could never be satisfied. I can only hope that by now you see this too. Yes, I think you're ready. I don't know, man. I kind of don't like either of them, if I'm gonna be truly honest. I just want to go home. Screw all this. Just fix the portal and send me home. The backstage. Oh. Kickstarter backers, I guess. Where am I? Yeah, this is this is just some like Honestly, I wouldn't really say this is the type of game where you should have stuff like this in the game world, because holy hell this is like extremely immersion breaking, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I feel like instead of doing this, it could have been, like, in a secret area, where you realized, oh, this is, like, non-canon in that sense. Or just a menu or something. Because, yeah, this, this definitely feels a little odd. And now we don't have any blue torch anymore. Uh-huh. I gotta sneeze. Okay. And nothing else we can do here. We need some kind of key to open this. Not sure. That's a giant speaker. And yet, it doesn't end. The game keeps going. Very polished floor. Is this where he designed the puzzles, basically? I don't think this is something I need to actually care about. What was this about? I don't remember... Oh, yeah, that's the... this... this puzzle, yeah. Right. And this is just drawn because it's a, a rook's move. Uh, not rook, a knight's move. And what do we have here? The battery stuff. The three pieces here. Artifact pieces or key pieces, whatever. The, like, signal thing. And... Not sure what this means. Maybe we should actually draw this one. That might be relevant. And that's everything? Alright. Although I wasn't able to fix the ancient gateway. You're very loud. I managed to build a less sophisticated one. I was not able to specify the target world of this new one-way portal. Oh, that's what the blueprint but I'm was for. Sure that it is capable of providing a safe journey. What's that arrow? This is where I left this world. 
and I want you to follow me. But before I grant you the opportunity to do so, you must do something that even I was not able to accomplish. I need you to open Quern for everyone. Uh huh. This world is out of time, out of balance. Even its very existence is a great risk. Its power is unnatural, unbearable. If you help him, more will come to use this power selfishly. Each of them will grow and destroy. He will unchain this destructive curse and let it rumble through worlds without any boundaries. This force uncontained will be the end of countless civilizations, just as it was the end of mine. You must destroy the gateway and seal Quernalok forever. No one else should ever find this place again. You must do this for all mankind. Maybe if you hadn't meditated until you became a ball, you could have done this yourself. But, okay. Uh, let's make a save here. There we go, just to have that. Because we might want to do both endings, I suppose. I can't do this. And also, the other key. Where's, where's the first key, then? Gateway bridge key. I suppose this key will open the gateway bridge. But it didn't. Oh, no, I see. Like, this is the gateway bridge. That is a different key. Well, he got the bloom right, that's for sure. Nice shadows as well. So I guess we just never actually get to see the professor in the flesh. But in a way, that's kind of that kind of makes sense. Oh god, what the hell is happening here? Don't tell me someone is gonna like decode this. Is this an ARG? Well, I'm not doing it. I don't know what's going on there. What is going on here? Yeah, that's the gateway, the, the periscope thing that we saw way back when. And what do you want me to do with that exactly? I prepared everything to be able to connect the ancient gateway of Quern to the world chain. I designed all the machinery and I programmed the whole procedure. The only thing I needed was calculations. Complex calculations I was not able to do myself. I invented this machine. Oh my god, he built the matrix. Think when the capabilities of the mind are no longer enough. The only task ahead of me was to wait, and that was exactly what I was incapable of doing. I knew that the calculations could take centuries to finish. I was tired. I couldn't resist the calling of the portal I built. I wanted to live again. I left my life's work behind. I see, but now it's ready, so it always felt like, oh, we were, like, right on the professor's trail or whatever, but no, I guess he's been gone for a long time, even though time is kind of not real in Quern. This reminds me so much of something that I can't quite put my finger on, like, from some movie or some, like, anime or something? I don't know. Something with, like, instead of these being, like, pods of humans... But I don't remember where that was from. I want to say something like, I don't know, paranoia agent or psychopath or something, but I don't think 
there was anything like that? I can't remember. If you know, let me know. Calculation completed. So... We just pulled a lever, and we have no other choice. Oh, these were all, like, miscalculations, I guess. Yeah. Punch cards that contain the result of the machine's calculations. I could insert it into the repair cart. I could. Okay. I couldn't fulfill my destiny. I need you to finish what I started. I need you to become what I could not become. The one who leads all of the worlds to a new era. The era of enlightenment. Well, I don't really feel like I've earned any of this. Shouldn't you have been the one? And what crystal we want here? The green one, I guess? Nothing? Oh, white crystal there. Alright. Punch cards there. The time has come. The repair card will need a mineral sample to be able to reconstruct the missing elements of the ancient gateway. Uh huh. You must insert the green crystal. What do you have to say for this yourself? Is our time. If you insert God, you're the getting louder. Crystal, the ancient gateway should overload and break down. This is the only way to contain this power. This is the only way to restore balance. Add the green crystal sample. Insert the red crystal. Are this gonna loop forever? Connect the oh my god. To the chain. Destroy it. Do it. Oh my god. Do it. Time shall they just keep going to those who are in need. Seal Quernalok. Okay, I'm just gonna save here as well. Seal it for good. I'm just gonna wait here. I just Let wanna see how long they they keep talking. Civilizations rise. Hide Quernalok forever. But yeah, I mean, maybe we can like actually make use of it better. Just because your civilization died from it, maybe that's not that wouldn't repeat itself. But then again. Maybe it would. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I don't feel like there's a better choice or anything here. Oh, I think they, they shut up finally. There's not really any right choice, I suppose. So, I'm not sure. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the green one first. Let's trust the professor. Sorry, Gamana. I can just change my mind. Just, she panicked a little bit. Sample minerals. Yeah, let's do green. You're not gonna say anything about this? You're cool with this? Alright. Wait, what? No. Oh, I had to like... Input calculations. Send a repair cart. Wouldn't she say something? Like, no, what have you done? Don't do it. Like, obviously he can't say anything, because it's a recording. The follower. Follow the professor's guidance. What? How could this be? What did I do wrong? Do you even know what you've just done? Okay. You've ruined everything. Oh. You have unleashed it. You have freed this curse from its prison. Countless worlds will be destroyed, just like mine. All because of you. I don't know about that. I hope you are prepared to live with this burden. How could 
I have trusted you. I have failed once again. Now leave and watch your civilization fall apart. It's a shame we can't, like, go upstairs there. That would have been a fun thing to do. Like, at this point, if you could go all the way back and go up the elevator again and uh, just take the portal back where you came from and that would be, like, a secret ending or something. But man, this is already... Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. You have earned yourself a place amongst the greatest in history. You have gifted this great power to all. Many will come and learn. You gave them the opportunity to shine and make their worlds a better place. Wouldn't this play, like, regardless of what I did? Efforts, Quern will soon become a beacon of knowledge. The epicenter of wisdom and intellect. Yeah, we can trust and humans to do the right thing. Dawns, the age of enlightenment. Everyone will use this power responsibly. It's gonna be great. Now it is time for you to join me. Step into the portal. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. It will be an honor. Are we going to see some, like, dramatic silhouettes? And then it cuts to black, and then he says, like, Welcome, friend. Nope, it's just credits. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah, it definitely was a bit of a rocky journey, but overall I like it quite a lot. It's, honestly, if it weren't for that one projector puzzle at the end here, it kind of flipped my entire opinion on the game. Like, until the underground, it was very rocky. The underground part overall was very good. It's just, yeah. In my mind, that part was a little too ridiculous. The rest was good, like the, uh, the door puzzle with the typewriter and stuff. Like, once you were actually doing it. Man, this game is so goddamn loud, it's insane. It just, like, keeps getting louder. I'm obviously turning it down in editing, but it's kind of ridiculous. But yeah. I don't really know what to say, like... There were some really bad puzzles, and there were some really good ones as well. And yeah, I think the, uh, design and, like, world building definitely peaked when you were underground, with all of the, like, underwater stuff, and then the... The callback to like, oh, you're underneath the observatory and doing that, all of that stuff, like, it was fun to see that it's, oh, it's all connected, it's all, like, planned out so meticulously. And the library was very well designed, great music and stuff. Just overall, it's, the game has very nice atmosphere and music. And the voice acting was very good. No idea what is actually, like, the best ending in that sense. I guess we're gonna have to do the other one, but I don't think I have time for that today, and... I mean, I'm pretty sure we need to do some achievements anyway, right? Uh... There's still three more achievements. Follow Gamanas. Guidance, open the lower part of the crystal lab without using blue light, and solve the melody repeat puzzle on your first try. Yeah, I see. So, I mean, I'm gonna do, like, one bonus episode, I guess, because I don't have time to do that today, so... We'll grab the last two... Oh! Back on the title screen. We'll grab the last two, and the title screen is so quiet by comparison, it's insane! When I first started, this music was pretty loud, and then, like, this is fifth of the volume of the final final song in the credits. It's... oh boy. I've noticed that's a big problem with games these days. Very few games are actually well audio mixed, where things are just like even volume throughout, and you can just set up one setting and just have it actually be good audio balance throughout. But yeah, I'm out of time. I like the game overall. 
it has some issues that make me not love it to death, but I'm definitely happy I played it. And by the end, I liked it more than I didn't, at least. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. One final episode next time, where we just do the final ending and the two achievements. Maybe I'll do the two achievements first, because I can just find the backups that I have for those two. We don't need to replay the entire game. I'll just find the backups, do those two things, and then we'll do the final Gamana ending and leave it off there. So I'll see you then.